My name is Naomi and I am the Operations Director here at Toro. We ensure all of our product listings have good a content. Um, this is certainly helped by our talented in-house photographer and we regularly look and review our a content. This is really important because in Toro, our products go right back to iPhone 5, which was released in what, 2012. So it's really important that we go back over them and revamp them just so they're up to date and current. I find the A Plus content quite user friendly. We sell on eight, eight countries. So we've came across that suddenly a Spanish A plus listing would be on the UK one. Um, but what we've done is we put it in place is A plus listings are listed by an ASIN, um, but we've named them. So you've got the SKU, the name of the product, the colour and the country. So at a glance, you can see the tech, you know, what the A plus listing is called. And that's helpful. I think the do's and don'ts of using a plus content is first reading Amazon guidelines. You know, there is quite restrictions around don't use other people's trademarks, um, third party links, things like that that's really important because they won't get approved. Certainly make sure that uh, your listing is accurate to the, the product that you're selling or photos, text is relating to that, to that product. It can be easily done if you're duplicating A plus listings. Um, the, the attention to detail to get those uh, changes are made. Make it so you know it doesn't date too quickly. Um, so for example, at Christmas time, don't be tempted to kind of update your A plus listings to be all Christmassy because they will date very quickly and you'll need to go back through them, which can be quite a bit of work depending on how many SKUs you have. The tool that I find really useful in A plus listing, um, certainly before you start, there is a quick guide that um, Amazon's got there. It's just in the A plus content, just under training, and that will give you the basis of you know creating A plus listings. So that's helpful to start with. You can duplicate um, A plus content, so that's quite helpful if you're just got the same product, but you're changing you know the model. In our case, you know from iPhone 11 to iPhone 12 in the future. So it's things like that where you know you can duplicate and it's not so much work. My top five tips for using A plus content would be um, the photography that comes first. I think that's the most important. Certainly for Toro, um, the photo really is selling it. We want um, customers to imagine having that leather product so that's feeling the leather even by looking at the photo. I would say that text probably comes second. Uh, the reason being, I don't think customers really want to read lots and lots of information about a product. I think that is kind of summed up in the bullet points um, where the A plus content's more about getting the brand across. You can use different modules and things like that in the back end. So I think just have a play around with it and see what kind of fits your brand. Ensure that your brand does come across in the A plus content. People use the Shutterstock images, it might not portray that your brand is how you know you kind of want it. And lastly, I suppose from Toro, the tension is in the detail and that's really important to us.